Okay guys, in this video tutorial we will learn about how to implement the Kirchhoff's current law within the Proteus. So for it, first of all, we need three resistors. So you should have to go to the part menu and write resistor. Okay. And then you must have to click on 56 metal pin and then we will take this 100 ohm resistor just place here okay after placing this resistor just do the second click and the second resistor will be placed here okay now you should have to combine of the right pins of both the resistors then we need one more resistor and be aware that R1 and R2 are parallel with each other but R3 is in series then we will go and we will take one DC power supply to produce current within the circuit so we will just write 12 volts or you can increase it like uh, if you want 30 volts or 40 it's up to you Then take ground and connect it. Now what, what will happen actually? The current starts from the power supply and first enters the R3 resistor. Then it will come this way and on this point it will be divided into R1 and R2. If both the resistors are of the same value, then current will be divided equally. But if, if R1 is having more resistance than R2, then more will be the resistance, less will be the current flowing through R1 and vice versa. But whatsoever, if a current enters this node, that is we can call this node is 1 this node you can write like this node is node 1 click on text and write here node 1 so current will enter from R3 into this point that is node 1 point then then it will the, the current will be divided into two paths that is going upward and going downward so we will see that either the current entering into the node and leaving from the node are equal or not but in order to measure we need M meter or ampere meter so DCM meter okay we will rotate it clockwise we can put here and we can delete this wire we must have to attach this ampere meter in between the wires you, you you must have to place this these emitter in series because current must be measured within or you can say through the circuit so emitters must be installed in series with the loads okay 
now we will take one more okay wait okay now it is placed correctly yeah okay now what Kirchhoff current light surely states that if if a current entering into the node one is equal to the current leaving that is going towards R1 and going towards R2 these are actually the leaving currents so entering current will be equal to the sum of leaving current sum of entering current is equal to the sum of leaving current so what we will see now okay now we can see that we have 0.2 and 0.2 ampere is entering and 0.1 and 0.1 ampere current is leaving but why this one is minus sign you should have to negate it because it is just showing us the direction or you must have to revert the polarity that is I delete this wire and delete this wire and rotate it is 180 degrees and yeah now now you will see that both are actually having 0.1 and 0.1 amps and why it is so because r1 and r2 are of the same value so that in node 1 0.2 is entering and 0.2 is leaving because 0.1 plus 0.1 is 0.2 so hopefully you got the concept regarding the Kirchhoff current law to be implemented within the Proteus thanks for watching